In our continuing quest to explore the diversity of animals in the deep sea, four new carnivorous sponge species from the family Clatterizidae have just been described. This group of sponges is remarkable because its members have developed some very unique feeding strategies. Sponges typically feed on bacteria and single-celled organisms that they filter from water currents flowing through their bodies. They create these currents by constantly beating the whip-like tails of specialized cells. But the deep sea is a food-poor environment, and it takes a lot of energy to create and maintain this constant flow of water. Instead, this group of sponges has evolved a more cost-effective strategy for getting food. When small crustaceans bump into their spiny skeletons, they get trapped by numerous microscopic hooks, much like a fly gets trapped in a spider's sticky web. Once trapped, sponge cells mobilize, engulf the prey, and slowly digest it. This sponge, Aspestapluma monticola, was first observed and collected at Davidson Seamount, an underwater mountain southwest of Monterey Bay. Its scientific name means mountain dweller. Close inspection of this animal revealed numerous small crustacean prey in various states of decomposition. But these sponges aren't just one-trick ponies. Carnivorous sponges are often found at or near chemosynthetic habitats, places where bacteria use chemical-rich water, not sunlight, as an energy source to form the foundation of the food chain. This closely related species, Asbestopluma rickettsii, was found in a chemosynthetic environment off Southern California. It has been named in honor of Edward F. Ricketts, a renowned marine biologist and ecologist from Monterey's Cannery Row. Though crustacean prey were not observed on this species, closer examination showed it was likely consuming chemosynthetic bacteria. These next two species were also found near chemosynthetic environments, and both contained numerous crustacean prey in various states of decomposition. This species is named Clatteriza caeae in honor of Gregor Caille, professor emeritus and ichthyologist at Moss Landing Marine Laboratories. Greg has mentored and inspired hundreds of marine scientists, myself included. These sponges were found near hydrothermal vents of the Endeavour segment on the Juan de Fuca Ridge. The fourth new species, Clatteriza eve, was named in honor of my wife, Eve Lunston, for her years of love and support. They were observed near hydrothermal vents at the Alarcon Rise in the Gulf of California. Both of these sponges may harbor chemosynthetic bacteria, but we aren't certain yet. If they do, this would provide evidence that carnivorous sponges can utilize both chemosynthetic bacteria and crustacean prey, depending on what's available in their habitat. Microscopic skeletal components, called spicules, are used to differentiate one species of sponge from another, and spicules of carnivorous sponges have been found in early Jurassic sediments, suggesting that these sponges have probably been around for about 200 million years. Previous to these findings, there were only seven species of clatterizids known from the Northeast Pacific Ocean. There are several more we've collected that await description, and many more yet awaiting discovery. What I find truly remarkable is that we still know so very little about what exists in the deep sea, the largest habitat on Earth. This is Lonnie Lunston at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute.